Hey, popping in on this day. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to. It's been very intense. And I know a lot of people are feeling these solar flares and what's happening to us physically. So I have certainly been going through that this week. A lot of, um, a lot of sadness for me, you know, just coming up. Um, it's said in Chinese medicine that sadness is held in the lungs. So definitely feeling a lot of that um, coming up uh, in my body. So I wasn't sure if I would be up to doing a, a vlog uh, and an update about what I'm sensing and seeing is, is happening. But, um, you know, along with that, I am also, there's, there's an inner part of me that um, wants to really step into what I was born to do. And I think a lot of you are feeling that as well. So there's uh, an, an energy to that that is motivating me in a way that uh, I would say I haven't had before. So even despite my feelings at times where I might feel insecure or sad or uh, whatever old scripts kind of are running, running around uh, in my body and my thoughts, there's this uh, impetus to, uh, to do what I was born to do. And that kind of um, uh, is it's kind of a joyful energy where I want to be present with what I'm here to do. And uh, this sense of um, finally, here we are uh, getting to do what we feel like we were, you know, maybe truly born to do all this time. And now we're really stepping into that um, more, I don't know if you want to call it a true blueprint, um, we needed to go through or I need to go through what I went through and again still kind of vacillating you know up and down uh, things like that so but definitely very intense and lots of heart uh, activity high heart which is um, let's see if I can move my camera down a little bit it's you know the high heart is I get the thymic level some call it the, uh, the eighth chakra or um, the universal heart connects us more to collective consciousness I would say I feel that that is more um, I feel more in resonance with that being the eighth chakra the high heart and it's um, also our connection to what we would call the third harmonic universe uh, you know I repeat this a lot uh, just so people kind of have a, of a sense of what I'm talking about um, and so uh Third harmonic universe is seventh, eighth, and ninth dimensions. And um, so where the high heart is, is active, then it also activates the other uh, chakra connections, which are really access points into dimensions. So the crown is the seventh dimension, and um, the brainstem is the, the ninth dimensional access. Point. And again, I know not everybody sees it that way, but it, it makes sense for me. Uh, and it puts things together that our bodies are made up of these frequencies from all the harmonic universes, all the dimensions. So um, not to belabor that point, but so lots going on with the high heart, which again is the universal heart. Uh, I'm seeing lots of things happening with our galactic expressions so that as we clear that um, dropping in uh, or flowering in a sense and a lot happening with the brainstem then um, where it's intense can hurt so uh, I'll get back to the the part about the uh, the galactics uh, our galactic expressions um, so I have some notes here so I don't forget uh, to hit some some of these points so there uh, was been definitely a brain stem clearing um uh, yesterday for me and i mean it really 
hurt, very intense. And that vibration, um, even then extending to the jaws, uh, the teeth, the mouth, you know, because it, it's so intense. And some people might be having a hard time sleeping because it's intense in the in that brainstem or uh, so also then the high heart where that's vibrating and you feel like your heart is, you know, uh, and when the vibration is, is a lot, is, is really intense, it can feel like anxiety could keep you up at night. So all these things can keep you up at night and uh, make you feel anxious when it's that intense. And so now the, the crown is, is changing, uh, opening to its cosmic uh, connections and and um, this is all being cleared so we can continue to to embody. Um, so let's see. So brainstem clearing, healing um, related to uh, our beliefs, our subconscious, unconscious. Uh, that's where they say the limbic system is in that area. Um, and that the scientists, as far as they know right now, say that that is the... Uh, where our emotions are, are stimulated. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, so yesterday, very intense in the brainstem. And then all of a sudden, um, I started seeing these words coming. Uh, nothing I want, nothing I need. Nothing I want, nothing I need. Right in the brainstem. And when I vocalized that, Sammy looked at me and she smiled. She said, that's right, you know, nothing I want, nothing I need. And it may sound like, oh, there's nothing in the world here that I want. You know, what, what does that mean? Um, I'm not going to get my needs met, my physical needs met, or, you know, is that going to change somehow? But what it really felt like was uh, an emptying out. Nothing I want, nothing I need. So. There's nothing, in a sense, uh, there's different ways of looking at it. There's nothing in the 3D realm that I want or need that can satisfy me any any longer. Like we're, we're done with this um, materialistic kind of uh, third dimensional ego-based paradigm and foundations. So, um, uh, and in this sense that when you're not even thinking about what I want or what I need, that um, there's this feeling of, because it's already here, you know, it's, it's given, um, so to speak. It's a, it's a very unconscious, we don't have to think about it kind of sense. Uh, uh, and we're emptying out um, the old, so that we can fill up our container or our chalice. Um, uh, or our body is the chalice, you know, the holy grail. And we're looking for the holy grail like it's somewhere out there. And it's literally our physical body, particularly the, uh, you know, the torso. And so it's shaped like a, like a chalice uh, in a sense. And it forms like this Y, you know, under our perineum, and then it joins and goes down, uh, so to speak, and our feet. And so there's the stabilization of the chalice, which stands. And so uh, we empty out so that we can fill with the, um, the breath, which is coming through from the first inhale and exhale. It's like the source breathing its first breath uh, into this into this entire universe um, that uh, was created from this first breath before even sound, what we call sound existed. So we're accessing this and before any distortions were ever created or even thought of, um, this is what we're this is what we have access to now. And so we're filling up, we're filling ourselves up with that breath, the, the breathing of God. Uh, I'm not even sure that that's the right word. So, you know, there's a lot of concepts and things that are also going to feel like 
is that is that correct? You know, is that true? Um, because what what's happening is we're changing density, we're changing our physical matter is changing. Um, uh, because we've shifted, you know, to a new higher plane, our entire universe was moved. Um, 1D, 2D, 3D was moved to the, the plane where the 4D, 5D and 6D exist um, together. So uh, it's like this one bigger structure and it's uh, dense, what we would call density is vibrating higher and it's easier than to access our soul. Um, and so then everything has to change with that. Just, the, you know, I talk about this a lot and I've talked about this before um, several times, but I know it's hard to kind of wrap your mind around that. And that's, this movement happened beginning in 2017. I saw it with the autists and that's what that planetary synthesis that I had done that some of you joined in um, in the second half of 2017 was all about. And I didn't quite understand everything that I was talking about at the time. But, um, but anyway, so we're changing density, which makes it easier. Um, and so now even our perception is changing. Our eyes are changing so that we can see differently. Um, and so that we're going to be questioning everything that we ever believed, including spiritual material. What is God? You know, uh, what is a soul? Um, what is free will? You know, all, all these concepts um, of uh, spirituality are also, we're going to be questioning, questioning those, uh, questioning what we thought were, was historical timelines and, you know, how we describe things and how they happened, you know, uh, I, I feel like I'm going to probably go back now into the YouTube, into our YouTube channels and actually take, remove some of them because I feel like, um, you know, those are no longer, those are no longer um, valid, the, the, the words. So, so anyway, that is happening. Nothing I want, nothing I need. Nothing I want, nothing I need. Nothing I want, nothing I need. And so uh, our brain waves are changing. I know a lot of people are talking about that. The two halves of the brain are coming, vibrating together to come into balance. Um, so the corpus callosum down the center of the brain. The um, something is telling me also that hara line, the central vertical channel. Um, many people may need that adjusted. And also, um, oh, right brain, left brain. Uh, so I was uh, sensing this today that we think about it, autistics are tend to be right brained. And um, if, you, if you're seeing this, you might think that I'm, that I'm on the wrong side. This is uh, pointing to my right side and you might see, be seeing the mirror image of that. So um, they tend to be right brain thinking pictures, right? Um, are focused on their inner world of their sensory experience. So it's as if they don't know what's going on in the outer world because they're more inner focused, focused on um, a different sensory system all the different sensations and things that they're experiencing, inner focus, whereas humanity has been outer focused, left brained, um, linear thinking and language, you know, language centers are on the left side of the brain. So autistics tend to have, especially the, the beyond verbal ones or non-speaking ones, they're not, um, their language centers are not functioning the way we do. So we were outer focused, 3D outer focus to tell us about what reality is. So it's like the two coming together now to balance. So the autistics are, you know, higher vibrational. So now they can drop into their bodies because we're they're on a higher dimensional, they've been on a higher, higher dimensional platform. And where we can as we change density, we can move up 
um, and we're meeting them now where they are more, can be more comfortable and it's going to be more comfortable for us as well because um, the body is now lighter. But to get there, we're having to release a lot of things and we've been doing it for quite a while, but now it's really releasing from our physical body so that we don't go back to those old patterns because the 3D system was based on reversals and um, it kept coming back, inverted systems, you know? So uh, as we move forward now, that's, we're not gonna go back to um, those old patterns. Does that mean though some of those things still aren't running? They may for a while, you know, it's, it's not easy um, at times, but it feels like it, as these next few months go, continue, uh, it is going to get easier. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, lots of shadow selves clearing. And now with the high heart activating again, right? Galactic selves. Um, the soul has, uh, so to speak, um, for many of us, ha has been on a journey through the galaxy. Many, many, many hundreds of thousands, some millions of uh, what we would call um, expressions in the galactic realms. And so now all of that is uh, coming together. So those galactic memories are readily available, maybe not consciously, I don't know, but um, the mastery that you achieved uh, is going to be more readily available. And um, people might have a particular galactic expression that they're going to, or a galactic being um, or a galactic identity that is going to be connecting to the, the high heart dropping in. Um, so this was actually happening with uh, my son, Chris, as some of you um, know. He um it has down syndrome and he is also going through some um rapid changes and sammy the other day had me adjusting his horror line and doing other physical adjustments on him and he has a, a galactic self that's uh, dropping in and connecting to him so uh so we have a personal soul matrix which is like our physical human identity in a sense, and now this galactic expression, and they're gonna be able to um, meet in a sense. So um, I've been doing some energy work on our, our family members, you know, here um, to help us adjust and noticing even in the galactic planes uh, that, um, we were meeting, let's say, galactic shadow selves. So some of these, what we may have been calling entities in the past, um, may have been a galactic life where they were, quote, not so good, you know, if we playing the, um, you know, the, the shadow aspect. Uh, and so as we bring in, um, healing to that galactic self instead of trying to fight with it it felt like it was easier to integrate and there's a um, massive wave of forgiveness coming from that point of origin uh, because in a way what's happening is that source from that point be before any distortions existed is taking a big inhale and, and bringing everything back to that original point. And so all distortions is eventually is going to be healed. Um, what that looks like, you know, individually, I don't know. But, uh, but I noticed that instead of trying to fight with this, um, let's say, being in the galactic realms, uh, if we brought in this forgiveness, wave of forgiveness, 
And forgiveness in this kind of cosmic um, energy or consciousness, it feels like it's it's more than what we would call mercy because mercy kind of implies that you're you're giving something to someone. There's someone um, giving you mercy, you know, like God is above you or, you know, some other being is above you and um, they're applying mercy to you for what you, um, mistakes you may have made or some, things like that. But this is, this is a forgiveness where it's nullifying uh, and it's actually what you might call your uh, God seed self, your avatar self that is applying this wave of forgiveness and that opens up the space as well. So this forgiveness, like coming through the crown, coming through the body um, to, uh, to nullify, set to zero point, set to neutral again, and uh, there's this sense of, oh, um, okay, I see what I did. I had this galactic expression or even in human body, you know, had that experience. And now I've learned and I see um, what, what happened. So uh, I apply forgiveness and I take that aspect back into the totality of my um, avatar self, let's say. So these uh, galactic expressions are also being healed. Uh, the other thing I noticed is um, mirroring uh, how that was kind of manipulated, you know? Um, so there's a natural sense of mirroring because we reflect back to, to source you know, the above, as above, so below, that's the idea of the mirror, you know, um, and let's say beings who were playing in forgetfulness didn't, you know, manipulated uh, some of these mirrors, these organic mirrors, and were, it looked like they were mirroring back, they were mirroring, let's say, other beings or entities, um, that may be belong to another soul, let's say, um, and mirroring it. And so it was like when I corrected the mirror, you know, and just was like, okay, you, you, you go back to your source, you know, um, it, it, that also kind of freed up uh, the space. So, you know, even how we were thinking of, what are entities and why do we have any attachments and um, those kinds of concepts, it, it feels like it, it can fall away uh, and we're going to see things through the eyes and the witness that we are. Um, we're, we're alchemizing those kind of distortions now at a whole different level. Um, because the human template was created um, to alchemize all distortions back to the point before there were any distortions. So it's a process and this is part of the ascension process, part of our uh, genetic blueprint. Um, and so that's the other part that the, the genetics uh, is going to activate the earth holds our genetic blueprint. So some of it is, you know, in the earth. Uh, and then, so the, as the earth is changing density, um, those, uh, those genetics DNA um, are going to, are, are activating and opening up. And it looks like in, the future, then as we continue to ascend, there will be new um, genetic uh, genes added so that we continue on the ascension 
process. But right now we're we're trying to get out of this density and we're trying to hold this new platform. And I can hear Sammy in the other room. She's all excited uh, about some of this that I'm saying. So um, I know some of you may balk at what I said, you know, some of what I said, but this is what I'm experiencing. This is what I'm seeing. And Sammy's also been talking about uh, our galactic, there are galactic root races, um, you know, that are humanoid. And because it was in on those other planetary systems that the human um, genome and even plants were being developed. They were being cultured on other uh, planets um, and other star systems. And so now we're coming together on this planet, one to heal uh, tr whatever trauma we experienced in some of those other planetary systems and also to heal um, those uh, mistakes, let's say, um, when we uh, violated um, uh, universal and cosmic laws. Uh, so again, in the experience now, we've had the, we've come to a, a level of wisdom, um, many of us, you know, those of you listening, so it's intense, but um, I can, getting a sense of, from what I'm experiencing and seeing um, how, uh, when I've been doing, you know, some energy work with my family members and what Sammy is guiding me to do, um, that this is the perspective that, um, uh, that I'm um, getting. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in with that and hopefully uh, it is helpful to um, all of you. So again, for me, when I was repeating nothing I want, nothing I need, nothing I want, nothing I need, it felt like I was emptying, emptying out and the brain stem uh, for me started to calm down so uh, give it a try, you know, if you want to repeat that for yourself, you can set a timer for five minutes and say, I'm just going to do a chant with that. Nothing I want, nothing I need, 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 and I fill myself with the eternal breath of the one source creator of the all that is. And so it is. Thank you. <laughs>